Muskan Doshi from Shada Mandir School. So, as an art student, I kept wondering what were the sources of my artistic experience in life, what orchestrated my thoughts and my opinions to where I've come from now. Until I realized, all of this has just been a part of the play that my, my past self, my younger self, created for me. And that all stems from the books I've read. Thus, I present to you, she was a library, like water crafted by our teardrops, like food crafted by our hands, like our minds crafted by society. She was crafted by her library, a library crafted by the single hopes of humans to live through all the lives they wish to with it written in a book. But greed is an old friend. Thus appeared the library. She was a library with each new day being a new book, with many different stories to witness, her wounds being the near deaths in the book. She left everyone in wonder. What is a library made of? A secret book to happiness or poetic expression to life? But each book has a page, one side being happy flowers and sunshine, the other portraying a bloodshed farm. Is there no such book in her library? Her smile started building, her book started collecting dust, pages turning the knowing shade of yellow with experience. She couldn't be a forgotten story, could she? Till one day, there was a storm, which shook her library and the books inside of all the dust. The words fell clear now, a pile of books in the corner more visible now. We searched through the pile of, for the reason for her new released book till we reached the bottom and collectively kept our distance. A book that was stained with tears, pages ripped off. The book was the odd one in the library. Her haven was tainted by a book not written by her. A book that contained someone else's words. The words being completely opposite to hers must have shattered her, must have stained her imagination. Her library wasn't her anymore. It was stacked with her words masked with someone else's experience. Her books were black daisies grown in the neighbor's garden, but spread its venom in hers. Her library was now filled with pages written for her, with words trained to make her feel, trained to make her cry. Her library was a place in someone's sinful mind. Till he grabbed her hand and led her home. For this was just a book, and her books couldn't compare, he explained. Books are evidences of what one chooses to go through, not a compulsion pain for all to grow through. He showed her the effect of her words in the lives of many. Her library, after all, was the haven for many. Her library was closed now for a personal holiday, will be open soon with new stacks of vanilla-scented experience. Thank you.